Good evening fellow Plexers. This video is going to try to help Jake, who's a new member of the Plex Media Server Support Group, and I am going to fly without a net as I usually do. So Jake had some problems with his server and then he discovered that um, he had lost it and he's trying to reconnect to it. So I'm going to ditch one of my servers and attempt to reconnect to it all on a first take. So what's important to know is the actual IP address of this. So this is a package install on a Synology DS1019 plus NAS. It's my original server. I don't use it anymore, but it's still able to be spun up. Eventually that NAS is going to be an offsite backup for my newer DS1520 plus to explain why I have multiple servers. So all I did was copy the important part into a little notepad here. So I'm just going to bring this window down and I'm going to deal for the time being with app.plex.tv which I created as a Chrome shortcut on my Linux desktop. So you'll see I've got three servers going. My main server my friends and family are connected to, my old one that they were connected to, and I have a test Unraid server that I've been using myself and eventually I'll ditch this server and move everybody over to this one leaving all the media on my Synology NAS but anyway that's just extra fluff for the video so what we have to do is I have to find my right area authorized devices and I want to click to my servers and I want to click this dreaded red X and remove the server and yes I'm sure but I'm not really alright so there it is it's gone how do I get it back so at this point this web app is useless to me so we'll move it off the screen now I still have this address up and I'm going to refresh the window and that's all I had to do so let me get rid of that and paste in, well let me get rid of it this way. Let me paste in that little bit I copied from the other window. Okay, so that's not working out quite as well as I would like. So what do I do now? Well actually, that other code worked better. So I'm going to go to history and see what we need from here. So again, flying without a net and I'm just going to keep trying a little bit more of this to see just what I need. Alright, so that was what I needed. So if my computer was my Plex server, you can do the local host trick too. That should work. But my computer isn't my server. My server's on an independent NAS. So this, this got me here. I'll log back in. And let's see how I claim my server. Or is it already claimed? No, it's not claimed yet. So another mystery to solve. All right, so it says nearby. All right, there's a triangle 
orange triangle under general. So I'll click into that and aha, this server has an update and it needs to be claimed and I'll claim the server. And I may have to set up remote access again on it, I'm not sure. But I'm not going to check that because all it would cause me to do is have to adjust the video after it was uploaded to YouTube to hide my external IP address. So I'm not going to get into that if I need to get into that. And because it's a new server, well, no, nope, remote access is fine. I need to go to general and click sign in automatically and save that change and that way I won't have to type my pin every time. So flying without a net, it wasn't scary. I ditched the server, I reconnected to it and um, reclaimed it. So hopefully this will be a good guide for you Jake and you can get your server reclaimed too. And again, the direct IP address didn't work but once I put a, a a slash web onto it, it worked fine. So, happy plexing and welcome to our group.